Hi everyone, welcome to On the Other Hand. I'm Ariane Zerscher, and today I'm going to be demonstrating the raised cup stitch. I'm doing it in a number of different thread weights as well as different types of thread, so you can see how it looks differently depending on the thread that you use. Please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Once you click on the subscribe button, a little bell should show up on the right of the subscribe button. And if you click that, you'll get an email notification when the next video shows up. I love hearing from you. So leave me any comments or questions you might have in the comments section below. And don't forget to check out the description section. That's where I leave links to all the different threads I'm using, as well as needles and other materials I use in the video. So grab something to stitch with, grab some thread and a needle. Depending on what weight thread you're using, you'll need a chenille needle, either a 24 or an 18. And let's stitch together. This is the raised cup stitch. It is really hard to see in this uh, variegated eleganza number eight weight thread that I'm using. It's an easy M11. I'm going to go ahead and just show you, and then I'm going to move to a heavier thread so that you can see it better. What you're going to do is you're going to make a triangle. So I've come up here, I've gone down here, that's going to be my first, then I've come up here, that's going to be my second leg. And now I'm going to come back to where I began to complete my third leg. To start at this stitch, it's the same as the open buttonhole filler stitch. You're going to come up right in the corner. It doesn't matter which corner. If you're right-handed, you're going to move clockwise. Otherwise, it's exactly the same. I'm left, so I'm going to move counterclockwise. I'm going to do my first buttonhole filler stitch as though this were a buttonhole filler stitch. So here we go. I'm going to do one and then two. And I'm going to do two of these. It's hard to do. You do the back of your needle. I'm using a Milner's because that I was doing bouillon knots and I didn't change. But really, I should have number 24 chenille. So just ignore the Milner's. All right, so two. I'm going to do two on this leg as well. So there's one. That one is just beside himself. There's two, and now I'm going to do two more on my last leg. There's one. There's two. I'm now working with the stitch that I brought that's going to be between those two little wraps. So there's the first one. Go in here for the second. There's my second. There's my third. It's going to be my fourth. It's going to be my fifth. And there is my sixth. Now I'm going to Go right into the center with my needle, and I'm going to end my thread. my little cup. All right, so I've threaded up a 18 chenille needle with a number five weight 
variegated elegance. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make my little triangle. I'm going to make it a bit bigger this time, so hopefully it's easier to see. I'm trying to get these legs the same length. I'm going to come up anywhere in the corner, any of these three corners. It doesn't matter which one. And now I'm going to do my open buttonhole filler. Two to each leg. So there's two. Now I'm going to start my second level or row. And I'm going in between the two wraps or knots, whatever you want to call them. And now I'm going to go, do you see the center here? That's what I'm going down into. Straight down to end my thread. So this time I'm using a shepherd's uh, silk. Make my little triangle. Mm -hmm. right into the center of it to end my thread. This reminds me a little bit of a, the popcorn stitch for you knitters out there, doesn't it? A little bit. I'm using a pearl cotton number three, threading up on the 18 chenille. Take my first stitch. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful. Please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe.
If you want to receive an email notification, you'll need to hit the little bell, which is right next to the subscribe button. I love hearing from you, so please leave me any comments or questions you might have in the comments section and check out the description section. That's where I leave links to all the different threads and needles that I use in this video. Until next time, here's to stitching together.